<clears throat> okay, so now coming to the algorithm, the programs that we write, they are two main types of program. Okay, one program is um, um, is what we have been doing so far. Okay. okay, so the one that we are doing so far is where we are giving the input values and we are also giving the logic what to do. Okay, mm -hmm. so for yeah. example, uh, the last one we did, we created um, a class and we gave values, right? Yeah, so right. we gave input values and we wrote the logic there, print or add or calculate, right? Yeah, yeah. This type of program is your normal programs, okay? Not machine learning or data, not machine learning programs, okay? okay. Here, Okay, you, what we did was we, as I said, we gave input, we gave uh, uh, what operations to perform, and then it gives us the output. This yeah. is like any machine, okay? Koi bhi machine hai, you take a uh, yeah. table fan, for example. Well, sorry, can I think, uh, can you just give me two minutes? Yeah, yeah, sure. No, sorry, sir. No problem. Okay, so mm -hmm. I was saying that normal programs, okay, are where you give uh, the input and the algorithm, the process, like a saying calculator or you are saying table fan, okay. In table fan, you switch on, that is the input that you give, and yeah. the process is defined that, you know, if the blade will move in circular motion, okay. okay. So these are predefined stuff, okay, and these are called machines, basically, okay, even calculator is your machine, laptop is your machine. Yeah. Okay. And the program that we are doing, this is how machines are programmed. Okay. okay. Of course, we are do, we are learning, we are doing simple things, but you know, same logic, you have to expand and take it to the next level. Okay. For doing um, machine thing. Second type of program, which we will do later and for why we are here is called machine learning kind of program. Okay. okay. The way machine learning programs are different is that in machine learning, we don't give what process, what uh, logic the, uh, you know, uh, this has to use. For example, if you just switch on the fan, table fan, okay, and fan knows when to switch on, when to switch off by itself. Yeah. Oh, temperature is more than this, switch it on. Okay, okay. nobody's in the home, switch it off. Okay, the floor is wet, again, switch on, right? Do you want the floor to turn? So, <clears throat> fan is able to think and process. Yeah, oh, yeah. no, I need to switch on. Or no, I need to get switched off. Yeah. Okay. So, the process, okay, and uh, is done by the fan itself or by the algorithm itself. The way we write program, we only provide input. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And it gives us the output based on its understanding. Okay. So when is a program will give based on understanding, if you do not, as a child, okay, 
we don't take child's uh, any children word seriously right because they speak whatever they feel like speaking yeah right so yeah. you know uh, we don't see any meaning in what they say okay because child has not learned does not have enough data okay well uh, you probably you might take your friend's word 80% seriously but yeah. if it is your father or mother speaking you will take 80% 90% 100% seriously yeah okay yeah because of various reasons right you take it seriously because you think that they know more things yeah and when we now you are listening to me because you you believe that i know something more than you and that's why you want to hear those things from me yeah. right yeah so our algorithm our um, machine learning algorithms they actually learn okay and then perform this action how will table fan know that it has to get switched on right yeah now yeah. see if you program it saying that okay if temperature is more than 30 get it switched on if the atmosphere has so much of moisture switch it on now this this is not machine learning okay machine learning that still you are giving the logic you are building the logic when to get switched on when to get switched off okay it is still uh, first type of programming normal uh, programming not machine learning programming okay normal machine learning programming you don't have to do that what happens is let's say and let's say if this is the case okay you enter into uh, you know you feel it's hot you switch it on yeah. okay and then you switch it off then again you switch it on so the the fan will look at you for one week understand oh in this scenario this guy is switching switching on in this scenario he is switching it off mm-hmm. okay will understand and from next week onwards fan will do automatically okay okay now in this case of course the fan uh, will not be 100% correct right there yeah. could be some error but it learns so let's say the fan is not switch it on and let's say you have to switch it on fan mm-hmm. thinks oh i thought we don't have, you know i should not get on but you no know, he is switching switching it on that means i have to get switched on in this situation also okay and it calculates all the situations automatically okay. Okay. That prank kind of program is called machine learning. So machine learning always has the element of uncertainty. Okay. Because we cannot say up to hundred percent accuracy. Okay. Mm-hmm. There is a uncertainty into the system. That's why we call it as uh, you know uncertain model, or we also call it non-deterministic model in mathematics. Non-deterministic model. Okay. okay now you know you don't know when i will switch on the light when i switch on the fan yeah yeah right i will not know when you will switch it on when you will switch off your fan yes yeah, right right so it's yeah. because based on what you feel you will do it you will not start calculating what is the temperature what is the pressure no 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 i'm feeling hot still i'm not going to switch it on because temperature is not yes 30 right you yeah. switch it on just when you feel hot whether it whether it temperature is 20 degree or 40 degree it doesn't matter yeah right same kind of thinking has to get into machine learning algorithm okay that is called machine learning okay and we use algorithm for various other purposes the the machine uh, computer we use we create program and then program will not stay in computer we we apply it somewhere right yeah, you, you will apply it on simple thing is you will create an application you will deploy on customer's laptop and customer will be using that laptop for doing small small things the complex yeah. thing is that you know you have developed a email gmail kind of system and millions of people in the world that are using your gmail this is an you know of course things can be more complex than thing but something which you can relate to is this that is also an application written in multiple programming languages kept there Uh, on server anybody can connect got it you can create an account and use it okay, okay. Yeah. so so email system is okay. your normal programming okay but it has feature which will predict whether your program has uh, is um, correct or Uh, so, for example, sir, when we uh, when we type an email, 
when we sorry when we type an email uh huh chime it automatically uh, suggests us as the word correct that is also machine learning that is machine learning. Wow. that is machine learning yeah. okay when you click on compose it opens the compose page when you click on send it sends those are not machine learning okay yeah that's rules are written behind it mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. what happens when you do this okay but yeah. your uh, i was talking about spam system right it identifies yeah. as spams and moves into spam folder okay, mm -hmm. okay. that is a uh, non deterministic okay yeah machine that is machine learning sometimes it doesn't sometimes it doesn't yep oh yeah got it okay yes Now, when you um, apply for jobs, let's say, okay, and yeah. job is related to Python, then you know what kind of questions they're going to ask you, right? Yeah. No, uh, I mean based on what we do. Uh huh. No, no, I'm looking at job opening if you see. Okay. okay. And if they tell you, um, uh, if they tell you, um, uh, we need someone with Python knowledge. Okay. So what does that mean? Okay. They want you to do the someone first type of programming. Python. Yeah, but no, no, of course, yes, but they want you to do first kind yeah. of work, okay? Develop applications, manage network, okay? okay? Um, uh, you know, something which, um, which does not, or which has a fixed meaning, fixed definition. You know what is right and you know what is wrong. What okay. is right will always be right. What is wrong will always be right until unless you make some changes in the code, okay? But machine learning, they'll say we are looking for data scientists, machine learning, yeah. somebody to do the forecasting. That's where you know mm -hmm. that, okay? No, the question is different. We are. Okay? Yeah. Tell me, anything else you want to know? No, no, sir. So machine learning, uh, if things are not uncertain, then how how someone will program for example now uh, for example this is uh, when we type email it automatically uh, gives us for example we are finding we are writing please so then it will uh, even uh, uh, recommend us please please find attach or when we uh, when we go to thank you it will say regards or something so how how it comes to know so that is Obviously, it must be pre-functioned before only then it will uh, suggest us, right, sir? Okay. So, yes, it can be pre-published, uh, pre-defined, okay? Mm -hmm. But most of the time, it looks at the pattern we provide. See, it's okay. So, when we say the student, we don't, you know, uh, take kids seriously, but, you know, your friends little more seriously, your parents very seriously. What mm -hmm. does that mean? They have some data. They have more knowledge. Okay. Okay. Right. Which makes you trust them. <laughs> okay. Right. So yeah. similarly, uh, we provide data. Okay? okay. And data will not. We'll have. We have to provide lot of data. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, for switch, for switching on fan, I'm just making it up. Okay. One second. So I'm just making it up. Okay. Um, um, use uh, use to, uh, and let's say I'm computer. Let's assume that I'm computer, and mm -hmm. you know I'm trying to think. When should I get switched on? When should I get switched off? Okay. I see that you came and switched it on at ten thirty one a.m. Okay. Oh, he switched to, switched uh, to me at ten thirty one a.m. Why did he switch uh, switch me on on at ten? Uh, what was 30? Okay. Okay. Conditions. He's in the office. He's in, he's in the room. Temperature is 
maybe around 35 degrees Celsius. Pressure is this. Okay. So it is trying to understand the okay it's situation by itself. Yeah, yeah. Various uh, environmental data you can say around. Correct. Yeah. So it needs data. See, for example, you take your example only. Of course, you have gone to colleges, schools, and you are learning here. But most of your learning is by watching. Yeah. You'll probably study five hours, six hours a day. Mm -hmm. But remaining, again, if you remove eight hours of, uh, even eight hours, okay, even except sleep, when, when you are not sleeping, every second you are learning something. Yeah, right. Right? For example, let's say you get burned. You put cold ice on it. Now, no textbook would have taught you this in school. Yes, yes. But you know this because probably you have seen in a movie somebody told you. No, so you are, you acquire this information. Yeah, right. From data. Yes, yeah. Right. So same thing. Same thing happens to this uh, machine learning also. Okay. okay. It acquires from the data, data that you provide. Okay. Yeah. Got okay. It. And the pattern it tries to find by itself. Now, how does okay. it find itself? Yes, there are some uh, algorithms that we give those algorithms to run and help them. But uh, but why we call them as machine learning? See, non-machine learning algorithms, you, when you run it, you will get same answer every time. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, it will not change even a bit. Yes. Okay, oh. but if it is non, uh, if it is machine learning algorithm, okay, yeah. The answer will change every time. Okay. So, uh, such for example, uh, even if we uh, browse on social media, uh, they keep on popping ad which we recently searched something. So that is also machine learning itself. Right? E yes. So, so what happens? See again, it's a machine learning, right? And yeah. it needs data, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, so see, there are two things to it. One thing is we have something called as cookies. And most of these website, okay, especially these free websites, okay, yeah. the shopping websites, they have cookies. Okay, okay. cookies will capture all your uh, action, whatever you are doing. Which site are you visiting? Okay, which page are you opening? What is that you have on your screen? Okay, okay. kind of. And if it is not a virus, okay. And if it's just a normal program, they don't take your data, okay? They mm -hmm. will save it in your local machine itself. Okay. Okay, in internet folders. Okay. And they keep adding, okay, this fellow was, uh, you know, looking at Amazon website and looking at the watch. And then it starts giving you popping up what's ad. Mm, okay. So yeah, it saves your information on your machine, okay? Okay. Not every, uh, you know, all the applications are, uh, uh, what do you call, like, you know, junk or virus, or they want to get your data. Some of them would just want to know what you're doing yeah. so that they can sell you something. Yeah. yeah. And see, it makes our life easy also. Let's say you badly want to buy some shirt. Yeah. Okay? And you did not find it on Amazon. <laughs> okay. Other uh, other e-commerce companies will try to show you the shirt. Yes, right. right. Yeah. So you know, in a way, it saves our time instead of we going to multiple website. The website itself reads your uh, this one and gives you the suggestion. Okay. And when you yeah. click on it, 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 the actual website will open, which may not be Amazon or Flipkart. Oh yeah, right. But that website has the information. Got it. Okay. Yes. This is what I wanted to tell you. Okay. So that you understand the programming more closely. Okay. Programming is not at all difficult. Okay. You need to practice. That is it. Um, um the best way to program is okay which gets you answer okay and yeah. not only answer okay it gives you answer in a best 
possible way okay now let's yeah. say you have to take a train to somewhere else okay the first thing is that you should not miss the train you should get the train okay, okay. so when you run an algorithm first thing is that you should get your output if you miss the train you won't be able to reach your destination yeah. it is like not getting the output you're getting some somewhere something is wrong yeah. second okay. thing is you also want to get the best possible route let's say you know your station is little far from your home mm -hmm. okay now if you take one particular route it will be you will reach your destination in 50 i mean let's say 15 minutes okay in another route it might take one hour second mm -hmm. route it takes five hours okay and let's say fourth way is that it's not possible to reach only you end up somewhere okay okay which one will you follow the first one 15 minutes or you can follow second one also no you leave home one hour before and you take the second path but uh, it will take a lot of time uh -huh. the same right. thing, yeah. exactly okay so reaching i mean yes it is important to reach the station okay yeah. and it takes a lot of time so you will even start one hour early Yes. But that is not the thing. Thing is, you should your process should be efficient. Yeah. So that's what we are trying to do in machine learning or even normal, normal programming, which way you can solve a particular problem in different ways, multiple ways. You want to see which is the easiest and most uh, uh, least time consuming, right? Yes. Same thing happens with algorithm also. So first thing is that logic. Logic is to get the answer right. Second thing is design. It has to design in such a way that, you know, so your program will look better. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. So I will stop here. I will, I mean, we can discuss a few more things. I'm not saying that we'll stop, but we'll not do program today. What okay. I want you to do is I want you to go back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Think and try to play with it differently. Okay. Yeah. Now let's say I tell you that, you know, I will join at 11 and I, I come 15 minutes late. You know, you try to do some program from some of the sources that you have. Yes. Okay. Yes. And okay. To, try to do it differently. Okay. Okay, I, I did plus. You do it in two. Yeah. And see how different it is. Okay. Yeah. Why it's not yeah. working. Okay. Mm -hmm. You yeah. will learn more by making mistakes than by getting things right. Yes. Because sir. when you do something and you got it right, there is no way to... Um, yeah. Yeah, I got it. I do that sometimes uh, while practicing. Uh, perfect. What else? So, yes, um, at least what you do is when you open the book, last chapter will have some questions. Okay. okay. You take a screenshot, you look at the questions and try to solve yourself without seeing. Okay, sir. Okay, and then you can see and you can solve it. Yeah, got it. Okay. Yeah. So we'll stop here today. Okay. Sir. Okay. But uh, tomorrow.